What's up guys? Welcome new subscribers. This is going to be a feeding video on my 75 gallon Amazon biotope. So the fish in this tank are one Tiger Oscar. Really beautiful fish. One big uh, common Placo over there. And one pink tailed Celsius. So to satisfy my Oscar, I'm going to be feeding him about 20 uh, 6 millimeter sinking pellets of New Life Spectrum Jumbo Fish Formula. It's a really great food. And then for the Celsius, because that fish has such a small mouth, I'm going to feed that fish um, as many as it'll eat of um, Omega-1 shrimp pellets. So a really high quality um, sinking uh, meaty food that I like. I've been feeding for years and years. And then for my Placo, because it's really hard to get any food to him, I'll be giving him some Omega-1 Super Veggie Kelp Flakes. Um, and he'll come upside down and eat those off the surface. It's the only effective way I have at the moment to uh, get him any vegetables. But, um, I do have a clip to put like some lettuce on or some cucumber. So I'm going to try to do that uh, soon to get the fish some substantial food. Alright, time to feed. Somebody's ready for it. Alright, so here goes the New Life Spectrum for the Oscar. There, look, he's already slightly stuffed. And then the Celsius comes around. Here's some shrimp pellets. Oh, there goes the Celsius. Trying to eat a new ice spectrum, but he always fails. So hopefully, we'll go for some other shrimp pellets now. Come on, you have limited time before the Oscar starts eating again. There we go. Eating some shrimp pellets. Throw in some more. Good, he's eating. That fish isn't the easiest to feed. Come on, buddy, stuff yourself. I have to say that this pink tailed Celsius, I've been wanting to get one of these for years and years. I finally got one. They are really, really cool. I can't wait to keep a school of them when I get my 210, which hopefully will be in about six months. Probably going to get another six baby Celsius to keep with this guy. Absolutely cannot wait for that. The Placo smelled the food, so now I'm going to get him his flakes. Which Chelsea's is probably going to try to eat a few, but well, there's the big Placo. He'll be up in a minute. I'll get a shot of him upside down eating. Oh, yep. Yeah. Eating the pigs. So there's the Placo eating off the surface. It's not too efficient. I feel kind of bad whenever there's other fish in this tank. Um, it's always really difficult for, me, for him to get any food. But at least there he's eating off the surface. It's kind of cool you can watch him from above. So I'm debating what to do when I get my 210. If I'm going to uh, move um, the Oscar in. And all three of these guys, but then any small fish that I get are going to have to be um, put in grow out tanks until they're big enough to get not get swallowed by this mouth. Um, so that sounds like kind of a frustrating idea, especially because I've been using my 90 gallon for some cold water stuff. So what I'm considering doing is just putting the Placo and the Celsius in the 210 and all the new fish I get. Um, in the 210 of them, letting them grow out in the ultimate environment. And then when they're big enough, put Tilikum the Oscar in there with them. So I'm kind of leaning towards that option. Um, 
problem with that is that I don't get to make my um, 75 gallon Congo biotope till the fish are grown out, which is going to take at least six months for them to be big enough for tilicum to not eat them. But especially for quarantining the Celsius, I really don't know what to do. Because these fish are really active, this guy bangs his head all the time, I feel bad for him. And he's in a 48 inch tank, 75. So hopefully in a 6 foot tank and with some other fish, he'll be a lot better. This fish really should be kept in a group, so that should um, help deal with that. Um, any comments on the 210 will be greatly appreciated because I'm it's much bigger than anything I've dealt with also um how to feed a tank that big if anybody has any comments about that I'll appreciate it so yep yeah. well, thanks for watching